Hey, this is Mike Aloya with American Hearts Radio inviting you out to the Hands and Feet Foundation on 103rd Street on the west side of Jacksonville every Saturday with Richard Norton at 12 o'clock p.m. That's right. Come on out every Saturday. Embrace the unconditional love of Christ with the music and the word and free food. Everybody's invited. We'll see you out there at the Hands and Feet Foundation on 103rd Street, Jacksonville, Florida. All right, let me pray as we uh, study God's Word, and uh, then we'll have some good food and uh, fellowship. Good to see everybody. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you that, Lord, we can come and worship you, Lord. Father, we can come and study your Word. Father, speak to us. Our hearts are open. Our ears are open as you reveal your Word to us. Move me out of the way. Holy Spirit, you're welcome into this place. And Father, may you be glorified. May hearts and lives be touched and changed through your word and your word alone. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. One of my favorite verses is Jeremiah 29, 11. And this is a, a great promise. I'm in a Bible study group. And we were studying this past week about God's character. And we were studying about His promises. And one thing that we know is that God keeps His promises. Amen? Now, we all have known and we've done it ourselves. We've made promises and we don't keep our promises. And I was in, I remember years ago they had a thing for men called Promise Keepers. You notice it wasn't called promise makers, you know, it was promise keepers. And knowing that God keeps all his promises, and it's all throughout his word. He never leaves us, he never forsakes us, he's always with us, and he's with us every single step of the way. And that's one of the wonderful promises. But this is a great verse, a life verse, Jeremiah 29, 11. I know the plans that I have for you. This is coming from God's Word. I know the plans that I have for you, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. And that's God speaking to us and knowing that promise, I don't know about you all, but that gives me comfort knowing that God that created everything, the oceans, I was out at the beach uh, yesterday, this morning, walking on the beach, looking at the beautiful creation of God, the wonderful, the waves coming in, and I'm walking along the beach, I'm like, how can anyone say there is no God? So the God that created all that has plans for my life. That's how much you mean to him. He has a plan for your life. Plans to prosper you, not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. Now, Hands and Feet Foundation is a wonderful ministry. And this is a ministry that's on the foundation of Jesus Christ. So when, we, when people say, well, hands and feet changed my life, it wasn't hands and feet that changed your life. It was Jesus Christ that changed your life. Jesus used hands and, feet, hands and feet and this vehicle and the people that serve here to help change your life. But the bottom line, it's all about Jesus Christ. It's never about us. It's never about any one man or one woman. You know, once we start thinking that way, it's like, look what I did. God will teach you some moments during that time when we start getting the pride. You know, look, what, look, it's all about me. Look what I did. So God has a plan for our life, plans to prosper us, plans to not harm us, and plans to give us a future. But that does not mean, and I want to stress this because it's important to, to know, 
because sometimes we get the misconception through all these preachers that you may have seen on TV or seen in church and they teach prosperity Jesus. Your life's going to be a follow Jesus and everything's going to be wonderful. Everything's going to be amazing. It's going to be a total blast. And in many cases we find that to the, be the exact opposite. Because here's the bottom line, when we make a decision to, to, to follow Jesus Christ, we are now a threat to the devil. I'll say that again. When we make a decision to follow Jesus Christ, we're a threat to the devil. When we make a decision that we're going to serve Christ, we're even more of a threat. When we go into ministry, when we help people, when we encourage people, love people through the love of Jesus Christ, the devil doesn't like that. The higher the level, the bigger the devil. I have found to be true. So, it doesn't mean that we're going to not have difficulties. So as a matter of fact, the passage that I want to read is about trials today. And this comes from the book of James. Because we all face trials. Can I get a witness to that? We all face trials. I have found that either we're going through a trial, we've been through a trial, or we're going to be getting ready to go into a trial. So we all go through trials. Nobody's immune to it. It doesn't make matter how much money you make or don't make, where you come from. We all face difficulties. But Jesus gives us a wonderful word in the book of James. And this is actually chapter 1 of the New Testament. And he starts out with the purpose of trials. He says, Consider it all joy, my brethren, when you encounter various trials knowing that the testing of your faith produces endurance. And let endurance have its perfect result, that you may be perfect and, in, and complete, lacking in nothing. Amen. So, amen to that. Because you notice it doesn't say, I'm going to take all those trials away. You see, whenever you face trial and difficulties of any kind, be of pure joy. God's got this. We always say that in our, our men's group. God's got this. No matter what we go through, God's got this. He has you in the palm of your hand, and he's going to be with you every step of the way. So that doesn't mean when you when you hear that, when you when it says consider it pure joy, that doesn't mean like, yippee, I lost my job. It doesn't mean that. Or, man, everything's going wrong in my life. This is awesome. It doesn't mean that either. What it does mean is pure joy is hope. It's a positive way of thinking, knowing that hope that we have, that faith that we have, the strength that God gives us, the encouragement that we have, that gives us the pure joy knowing that he's with us every step of the way. So I tell the old rugged boy Till my truth is at last I lay Hey! 
and exchange it someday for a crown. Hey, it's Rich out here with my friend CJ. We're out here at Hanson Peak Foundation on 103rd Street. Busy street here in Jacksonville. You see the cars going by and we're out here seven days a week. And uh, we are serving God, serving Jesus, and serving His people uh, through fellowship, through music, through the food. And uh, CJ, you've been coming out here for a while now. What, what led you to coming to Hanson Peak? Uh, well, actually, someone actually told me about Hanson Peak. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they also told me that they they help you do stuff like they help you get off the streets. They help you with food. They help you with a lot of stuff that you need help with hygiene. You know? mm -hmm. Help. That's all. I start coming here, you know. And then, you know, yeah. so here, there you are, and it's good to see you. I mean, I've gotten to know you, and and now that I see you coming here, you're serving. You're kind of stepping up to the plate, and you're helping others. I see you kind of moving into that role. How does that work? What got you doing that? Uh, well, I mean, I mean, what got me doing that? To be honest with you, I kind of don't know, but. I mean, I guess because I start talking more, you know what I'm saying? I start uh, showing my feelings out more, you know? I start talking to mostly, I start off with one person and it's kind of everybody. And it makes me know, hey, talk to everybody. There you are. All right. Awesome. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you're kind of encouraging other people and helping yeah. other people and all that. So how has Jesus changed your life by coming to Hands and Feet? What has he done in you? Well, I can say what he has done for me. Uh, I don't know because it's a lot that he has done for me. Because I'm still here supporting him, love the music. And, uh, Kind of That's good. Uh, in many, many ways. And it's yeah. great. And every time I'm out here Saturday, and it's great to faithfully see CJ coming out, and uh, he's got rhythm. Like I can see it as he's kind of, you know, we got a bunch of instruments. I see you kind of getting into the music. Tell me what the music, how the music here has spoken to your heart. Well, I mean, I mean, well, uh, what, it is, what, what the music does for me, it, it just brings me closer to God. Uh, it actually wants me to have a, a better relationship with them, come to church more, and actually tell people about him, you know what I'm saying, so they get to know who he is, what he has done for all of us, you know. So that's what we do out here, you know, seven days a week. You know, many churches are meeting once a week. That's it. They're inside their buildings. That's fine. But get out there. You know, get out there. This is where Jesus is hanging out. And it's a true, true blessing. And great to meet new friends. CJ, you're awesome. Thank you for all you're doing here. And uh, God bless you. Hands and Feet Foundation with my brother and friend, CJ. Saturday morning music and ministry, baby. There we go. Rock and roll. <laughs> Nicely done. Wow. Good shot. Good shot. Got my two. That is the ambulances are driving by. A reminder that we need Jesus. Amen. Yeah, we got cops going that way. Yeah, cops going one way. Yeah, the ambulance is going the other way. Welcome to the west side. We're waiting for a fire truck next. But <laughs> and God is in control, right? Yes. So we say that, you know, come Lord Jesus, come. You know, you are welcome in this place. Thank you for his amazing grace.
Lord has ransomed me, and like a flood, His mercy reigns, unending love, amazing grace. on 103rd Street on the west side of Jacksonville every Saturday with Richard Norton at 12 o'clock p.m. That's right. Come on out every Saturday. Embrace the unconditional love of Christ with the music and the word and free food. Everybody's invited. We'll see you out there at the Hands and Feet Foundation on 103rd Street, Jacksonville, Florida.